Hey everybody, hope you're doing fantastic today. This is Brett Hadlock, TN Artist. I had a couple people ask me about doing an ocean study again, so that's what we're going to do today, just a nice simple one, and uh, work on some uh, waves and that kind of stuff. So I uh, figured that we'll lay that out on here and just kind of go over some different things with it. So what I've got here is my 8x10 canvas. We're going to use the oil pigment uh, color palette here with the natural colors turned on and um, just kind of go through it and use it to, uh, you know, kind of paint in the oil here. So um, let's dive right into it, no pun intended. So first thing we need to do is just get it laid out. So let's grab, uh, we'll just go ahead and grab the uh, couple of different ones here. Let's see, we look down here with some of mine jump over to the custom brush here favorites I've got a sea foam one right here we can use but let's lay in some uh, blue and go ahead and wet the layer and maybe go with a uh, air blue and maybe add just a little bit more blue to it like so Come down to kind of this blue gray. Go with that to tint the background. And then we're going to need to set the horizon line. So we want the waves to be the main focus. So we'll go with a little bit higher horizon line, just like that. Hit enter. And then let's go ahead and do shift control I. So we'll work on the sky part first and just kind of lay that in. So we'll jump down here to the cloud brush. Drop down a little bit to go to some lighter color. Come up a little bit. So we're adding a little bit more white to it. Just kind of lay in some quick clouds with this cloud brush. Like so. Maybe something off in the distance, just kind of streaming past. And then push four. And this one is the watercolor one, so we're just going to let it kind of fade off and do its thing. And then just kind of smear it on the bottom. And just kind of keep helping it blend a little bit. And it'll just keep softening itself and then push D to pause the diffusion. I think that's kind of a nice place for it to stop. So we'll go ahead and fast dry the layer. And that's just going to fast dry this layer up here. Okay. And then let's click back on this. We'll go over a little bit and grab some of this kind of a lighter blue color. And we can just kind of come up here and drop this in here and there and I'll push D again to unpause it and then push D again and then push 4 and just kind of blend that together and that's going to make it look like there's some blue behind some other darker clouds just like that pretty quick and easy way to get a sky all right, and push F to fast dry. And maybe we'll hit it one more time with some lighter cloud color. Come in here, we'll go a little bit lighter just to make some differentiation right here. Just like that, push D, let it blend, push it again to pause it, push four, just kind of go along the bottom kind of straighten it out a little bit and then push D again and grab this fluffy cloud one here just push 4 and just kind of soften it just like that okay push D let it soften itself out just a little bit more 
F to fast dry it, push one. Just lay in some highlight here. Push four. Bring the size down with the left bracket. Just kind of quickly blend it. This is a good way to build up those clouds that are, you know, those, those rolling kind of clouds that kind of come in. Just kind of softly blend this into it so it just kind of fades off like so. And up a little bit over here. Okay. Bring up the size. Go over it. Maybe grab the smudge tool. Bring up the size. Kind of soften the bottom edges. Just kind of blend all that together so it just kind of disappears of itself. Just like that. You can do the same up here to kind of soften some of that. Just don't overdo it. There we go. Now we got just a really quick sky that kind of blends off into itself with some nice clouds. All right, and then let's do Shift Control I again. So now we've got this bottom section here. Now, just to show you, if you look at the water, you can see this up here is still wet. This down here is still um, wet as well. You could come back up here and do Shift Control I. and just dry the layer. So now that layer's dry. This layer down here is wet. Shift Control I. So let's take a stencil. Let's turn off the lock to size ratio. Stretch it out. Kind of let it come outside there. All right. I'm going to grab this Prussian blue. I'm going to come back down here to this cloud brush because I'm just going to grab it. It's a watercolor brush and I just want to use it for kind of tinting this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the water. I'm going to pause diffusion. And I'm just going to kind of come in here a little bit and lay it in. Now this is a really blue blue, so it's really vivid, okay? That's part of the reason why I wanted to use the watercolor, because I want this to dilute down with the blue that's under here, because this is this bluish gray, so I want these two to naturally blend together. And I want to grab some of these other ones, so maybe a little bit of this cobalt green. And maybe a little bit of this cerulean blue, which is also a pretty strong blue. That cobalt turquoise. And I'm just kind of throwing this in here to kind of give it a little bit of diversity. And I'm going to grab some of this gray color up here too, because I want to add a little bit more of that back over top of it to kind of make sure some of this really gets knocked back. All right, I've got that in there. Come down a little bit. The important thing here is I've just got a good mix of colors in there. And I can push D, let those all kind of blend together. Select my blending tool and just kind of go back and forth on these. Just 
just kind of soften those in there. Press D. I'm going to do Control C, Control V. Control V again, turn off. And go to Multiply. I don't need this part, so I'm just going to erase it. This. I just want some of this darkness. I don't want all of it dark. And then I'm going to merge this down. And I'll merge this one down and get rid of that. So see how I've got those different colors and I've got the darkness kind of merged in there, but then I've still got the colors kind of showing a little bit. So that really works, I think. I'm going to push F to fast dry that. I'm going to unpause it. Go back to my brush here. Grab my sea foam. I'm going to push 4. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth. Soften that in a little bit. I'm just doing kind of a comma or banana stroke to kind of lay that in there real quick. You can come back over top of this and kind of soften it too if you want. All right, so that's kind of got that laid in there. So now I want to kind of lay out where my big wave is going to be. So I'm going to do Control D. To deselect that, I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. Push the period button to bring this forward. Okay. And so here we are about 15 minutes into this. Not bad. You know, we've been able to get quite a bit done for just a quick study of a wave. So now with the sea foam. I'm going to grab this lighter color, uh, or it could even just to keep make sure we keep the color harmony. I'm going to go up here and select this color, like so. And I'm going to come along through here and just kind of lay in where I want my wave to be. Something along the lines. Okay. We're going to have this kind of come down through here. Maybe something like that. And then have this kind of come in through here. So this is going to be all about this wave. Okay. We may even come back here and add another little wave to kind of bring forward this section and push that back a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'll grab this cadmium green. And that's going to give me this kind of really bright greenish color. And I'm just going to throw some of that on here. I'm going to grab some of this blue. kind of put them next to each other. Then I'm just going to press 4 and kind of smear these together. Grab a little of this yellow. Same thing. Just like that. Okay. Just grab that fluffy cloud brush just because it's a nice soft brush. True colors there, so it kind of goes back to natural pigment uh, blending. I'm going to come up here to Filter, 
hue saturation. Reduce the saturation ever so slightly. Apply it. So that way it gives me a little bit better of a look. It's not quite it's in your face. I want it to be bright, but I don't want it to be like, uh that's a technical term by the way, in case you didn't catch that. Now I want to grab some of this color back here. I'll bring it up into here. Alright, just like that. Press four. And I'm just going to kind of blend these together a little bit. Okay, just like so. So now I've got that laid in there, so, but I can see the other stuff behind it. I don't want to see that. So I'm going to come over here to the acrylics. I'm going to grab this knife smooth. I'm going to use this to kind of start laying in. Where this wave is going to be. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of curve this around. The direction that the wave is going. And kind of start building up some of the paint. And I'm just going to keep doing this back and forth. And kind of start... Um, layering it so that not only does it build the opacity but it um, kind of ties everything together as well Now I can hit four and just kind of soften it and just keep kind of building it. And I'm just kind of shaking it back and forth to start building some of that randomness and violence underneath it. Notice I'm keeping the wave going the same direction that it would be going. So the wave is curling up. And that's the important part that starts really giving that feeling. This is all tied together. By the way, if you think that this background stencil is a little too um, 
doesn't quite match the aesthetic that you've got going on. You can just come back here and start working on that too. I've just got the brush again set to four and just start kind of pulling that together. Example, if you wanted to build that up, the green room, blue, a bit of a trough back here, the lighter spot that would be catching the light down here. So, the cool thing is, I can come back. kind of tie this together with some of the stencil. So Now we're starting to get some white caps and foam kind of tying everything together in the background, which in turn is going to start tying everything together in the foreground. So it's kind of giving you an idea of what that looks like. Let's kind of do some stuff here with this. So let me jump back up to this layer. For this, I want to kind of 
kind of build this up a little bit. So it's going to have we come around like so. Okay. So for that, I'm going to grab this fluffy cloud and just use it. Kind of fill this in. shadow here. Like so. Less of a shadow. four and just kind of really push those around. Just really blend them. I'll blend some of this as well. down the sides, just kind of go along the edge here, do that same on the edge, just like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this to kind of blend in for where some of this foam will be. We'll come back with the actual sea foam brush and work on this more. This will be a good start. So now all this down here we need to kind of fill in. We need to add a little bit more darkness here. So let's grab that. I want to go a little bit over towards the purple side and just a little darker. And kind of come in. And a little bluer. Not quite blue enough. And now hit four. And just kind of scrub this in. Then all that color just kind of blends in. Like so. And I'm going to grab. That and we'll go ahead and go back to the sea foam brush. Let's 
draw in where this shadow is going to be. Kind of coming along through there. So, uh, this. I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right. It's blue. Throw again. We're just kind of throwing some of these colors in here to just add some interest. Some of the shadow and stuff will be. Smudge it down and soften it. Get that in there. Hit four. And just kind of go over it. And that's going to give us some of that color. Make it softer. Got a fluffy cloud brush again. Back over some of these. All right, so that's getting that laid in there. It's kind of working. Just a second. All right, so now we want to do, now that we've got these kind of laid in here we need to kind of look at where we're going to add in the light start adding in you know the not the sparkle yet but some of the uh what will be the sparkle i guess all right so let's take this is on here and it's a little too blue Let's come over to here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I'm just going to keep kind of going back and forth between one and four with this brush and what that's going to do is give that feeling of the light kind of bending around and softening
like so. And just four. And then grab this color. To build up some of that foam. And what I just did there is I grabbed some of the wave foam and bringing it out into here as well. Again, press four, smudge it. And if you're intimidated by doing the foam, do it on a separate layer instead of all on one layer. I'm just going to this really lightly to soften it. Take some of these jagged edges out. So see if we can just kind of real softly build that up. Have it just kind of go up into it. Like so. And it kind of starts to tie it all together. And it's just a matter of kind of working back and forth, back and forth. A little here, a little there. And again, if you're intimidated by it, do it on a separate layer.
else. Go along here. Oh, I forgot that one doesn't work too good like that. And some dark up here at the top. And then push four. Kind of soften it back a little bit. It looks so stark. Grab this lighter color. Some of these sprays. The wind is catching it. And I can soften this a lot. Start somewhere. Uh, shoot, I forgot that was a watercolor brush. My bad. Totally forgot that was that one was done in watercolor. So I can dump spec here. This is one of those ones where you can play around with some of the different brushes. I can use my watercolor brushes. All I need to do, if I want to use a spatter brush, turn the water down to zero, the opacity up to 100, and dry the layer. Just come in and start circling in some spray, like so. If you do that, I would definitely come in. Oops. With different ones. size different brushes like for example the cloud brush kind of soften it into it so that it all kind of blends in and kind of makes sense Now you can come in with just, say, like the cloud brush, for example, if you wanted to. Bring the size down and use it to really bring your sparkles. For where you want stuff to be. 
And again, just keep going back and forth between 1 and 4. You can get some really nice effects. With that. just the pure white and really put in those zingers of sparkle. These will be the ones that you just use here and there that really like it's catching the light just here and there. So you don't want these everywhere. You definitely want them a few spots here and there. This is what's going to make the water just look wet. Softening this up a little bit. Like so. I think that gives us really kind of a cool, just wave study, you know. Um, you can see how you could really just keep building this up and make it part of something larger. You know, and in the background back here, if you wanted to add, like say you wanted to add some mountains or something. Okay, so let's say like, for example, you wanted to add in, maybe there's just a no distant shoreline. Something like that. I think that I absolutely love about this is being able to move these nodes. That there. And then come in here, it's just a matter of like grabbing, say, airbrush, spray can, grab maybe this bluish purple. Just 
just kind of softly airbrush something into the background. The bottom a little bit. It fades off. You can go filter, Gaussian blur. I can just up it by five or something like that. Just something simple. Come back and grab like maybe come down a little bit. Just add a little bit of texture and some stuff in the background. Again, nothing crazy. And you can go back to filter, Gaussian blur. Apply. Hit four on the brush here. Just kind of go over it. Maybe grab the airbrush again. The bottom there kind of blend it in across. Don't worry about this part. All you gotta do is that. So you just do that right there and then you can come back up here to filter and Gaussian blur. Apply it. And come over here and just kind of blur it a little bit. Just to kind of soften that area. Just really up to you how much you want to um, have stuff show, have it not show. And if that's a little too contrasting, then just bring the opacity down a little bit. But just that simple, you've got a nice study, you've learned a lot about light, you've learned to play around with it. Um, back in and do some of the stuff that I like to do, which is add in a few of the birds. I think having some uh, birds here and there kind of looks cool. So maybe we'll just do that. Just add in a few of those here and there. So you could use a stencil or, you know, just do it the old fashioned way. Whichever you prefer.
But I think there we go, friends. I think we'll call it on that. I think that's a good place to stop. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did. It's been a fun one. I think it's a good study of how to build up some waves and uh, just some st soft stuff in the background and get a good painterly uh, look to it. All right, I'll see you on the next one.